it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up today with the next in our Scrap September series and today we are working on the prompt selfie. So I have used this awesome cut file from the Confessions of a Paper Addict. It was something that Virginia released during International Scrapbooking Day. She created I think four um, cut files that were sort of around focused around crafting and creating and it says I was created to create and I am using the pink paisley whimsical collection as well as two selfies of myself holding up the pink paisley whimsical collection <laughs> not that you can see that in the end because I cover it and I've used a snapchat filter so I've got the you know cute little bunny ears and the unicorn horn going on and I just thought this was going to be a fun layout that I can use to put up in my craft room because it ends up being quite full on um, yeah so that's what I'm working on I've used the pattern paper from the whimsical collection that has all of the craft things on it and I have put some gesso over that just because it, it is quite bright but in the end I also put a piece of vellum over the top so it really does tone it down um, so you can read the cut file on top of it because it's backed with all of the same papers in the collection so all the colors match and it does sort of fade into the background a little bit but I deliberately made it bright and colorful because it's not something I like to do I don't do it often it's very out of my comfort zone but I literally wanted to put every single craft related piece from this collection onto this layout like literally every piece I wasn't leaving anything off in terms of the ephemera so it does get quite busy in the end but because I knew I was going to put it up in my craft room I figured it would work so I've told you enough about what I'm doing. You can just sort of watch along. I'm going to back this onto another piece of pattern paper. Um, but I wanted to tell you who's joining us today. So today's the 8th day of September. And as I said, the prompt is selfie. And we've got Shannon joining us today from the YouTube channel She's Crafty. So Shannon, I know Shannon in... in quotation marks because obviously we've never met in person uh, through the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. That's how we sort of... I guess have interacted with each other in the past Shannon's YouTube channel she does quite a lot of um, YouTube hops and series and things like that which is awesome so particularly what I usually watch from her is the how to kill a kit with style videos because I think that they're fun to watch I love that series um, a lot of ladies participate in that series and it's just good because they make kits from their stash and then they use them I particularly like watching the layout shares um, related to them but also I like watching the kits you know them creating their kits which I think is fun um, and then yeah Shannon's done heaps of stuff uh, she recently joined in in the telephone game YouTube hop which I also participated in we were in different groups but it was so much fun so you should definitely go and check out Shannon's channel that will, of course, all be linked down below. And yeah, she is joining us for the selfie challenge. So I'm really interested to see uh, what selfie she chooses and how she creates her layout. We have loved this series so far. I can't believe we're only at, is it day eight? Is that what I said? Day eight? Yes, day eight of September challenge. We have 30 days in September. So we've got quite a few days to come. Um, I am making this uh, video in August. So it's nearly September actually this is late August when I'm filming this and I have nearly finished all of my September lights which I'm very excited about because I'm excited just to be able to watch videos in September and watch what all of the other awesome guests have created and are joining us and not have to be stressed out about creating my own layouts because I will have already done them all and I get the luxury of watching everybody's sometimes it's really hard as a YouTube creator to have time to actually watch a lot of YouTube videos I do sometimes watch them while I'm scrapping but I've started really enjoying listening to audiobooks so that does take away from my scrapbook watching time which is a bit of a pain so sorry my video oh, my phone ran out of space so I actually lost a little bit of footage where I just stuck down the cut file so that was all that I missed filming um, I stuck down the piece of vellum behind my cut file and then I, well, sorry, I stuck the cut file onto the piece of vellum and then used where I put the cut file to put some double-sided tape to then attach my vellum to my layout. That's how I made that all work. And so you can't see any of the sticky tape or anything like that. And now I am backing my photos. Now, the reason why this looks funny <laughs> with me backing my photos is I'm sort of backing them in the middle of the paper because I figured I might like to use this paper as backing on a, a layout so I've sort of 
keeping everything into the middle so I've still got the option of using a full 12 by 12 as a background piece. Uh, so that's what I do with both of these pieces of cardstock that I'm backing my photos on. I actually have the 12 by 12 paper pad for this collection which is single sided and I also got a few of the 12 by 12 individual sheets as well that weren't in the paper pad. So I've got quite a lot of paper. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get through this collection but I do really like it um, and I've got a lot of the embellishments still because I don't uh, use a lot of embellishments on a layout. This that I'm doing right now is very unusual for me. Um, so I do have quite a lot left. So I've got a lot of plans still for this collection. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to using it, even though I've made heaps with it already. Um, I just really like it. I hadn't, it's an, not an old collection, it's not, but um, Paige has definitely released one, if not two collections since this one was released. But I just hadn't got stuck into it yet. It was still sitting there in its bag with everything included. And I haven't bought any new collections this year yet in 2019 um, but I will be buying the new Coco Vanilla Studio collection oh no that's not true I bought the Indigo and Ivy collection actually I did also from Pink Paisley because I just really liked the blues so yes I'm 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 waffling so uh, link down below also I should let you know is a playlist of all of our videos that we've got so far in September but also all of the layouts that our lovely guests have made for our series as well. If they're not up straight away on the day that they're released I will get to them. Um, I'm trying to do them every morning um, and making sure I'm adding them into that playlist but I might get a bit behind because you know kids and whatnot um, tend to not always allow me time to be on the computer. But they will be added, so never fear. You'll be able to see all of them there. <clears throat> oh, yes, I made a bit of a mistake by sticking down my cut file onto my layout before I put my photos down. And actually, it took me almost a week to come back to my layout once I had uh, stuck the cut file to the vellum and then the vellum to the page. It was a week coming back to then, you know, doing my photos and continuing on with the layout. So the cut file was very well stuck down <laughs> and it did pull up okay but um, it would have been better if I had have stuck the photos down before I stuck the cut file on top but that's okay we made it work. So now I'm getting to the crazy embellishing part <laughs> and really I mean there's not a lot I can say about this I literally just stick down everything that is crafting related onto this layer. So I think I start with the sticker sheet or maybe a couple of the chipboard pieces. I keep losing that whimsical piece in the chipboard collection. Um, but I think I start with a sticker sheet. I'll have a... Oh, no, I'm putting some chipboard down now. So I think that was the glue gun that I added down there. Uh, and then I'm moving to the sticker sheet, yeah. And I'm adding a uh, paintbrush. And... I don't know if I'm doing it cluster by cluster. No, I didn't think I was. I think I end up just going through the sticker sheet and literally just sticking everything down. So I've stuck down um, the wool and the, uh, what do you call it? Knitting needles. That one that I've got on my finger is the needle with the thread. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. So it's still just stuck to my finger. And then I decide to add the watercolor or the paint um, palette down here in the left hand side so that's the die cut ephemera piece so I'm adding that down and then I'm going to stick the needle and thread as part of that cluster and I'm also sticking down a word strip from the die cut set as well that says let's get creative so I add that one oh I'm popping it up on foam I'm thinking what am I doing I'm popping it up on some foam then I'm adding the little needle and thread and then I'm still going through and seeing what else I have got to add. So was that the pen? I think that was the pen. Sorry, I've got a very small screen that I'm looking at. And then, oh, that was the washi tape that I've stuck up the top. Oh, they are the little thumbtacks. Not really uh, crafting related, but a little random. So I thought I would stick them on. Oh, that was a little word sticker that I just stuck down that says makers gonna make. And then I'm just adding some buttons up to the top left there near the eye. And I was created to create. 
So I'm just creating kind of a little cluster of buttons up there. Not that it's a big cluster, but just sort of tucking in some buttons up the top. And there was a lot of craft related items in this collection, actually. And when I saw them all at the start, I'm thinking, what am I going to do with those? <laughs> um, you know, there's only so many craft things that you can put, ephemera pieces, you can put on layouts. So I thought, I'm just going to make a layout that is about me crafting. And then Virginia released these amazing cut files and I was just like, perfect, perfect. So yes, that is what I'm doing. But there's pens. This is what I'm sticking down now. There's sort of stationary and scrapbooking items. So there's uh, paint brushes, there's rulers, there's ink, there's uh, watercolour palettes or paint palettes, there's buttons, there's needles and threads, there's pencils, there's paints, there's scissors, there's glue guns. <laughs> oh gosh, there's just everything. There's buttons, there's thumbtacks, there's paper clips, oh, there's a sticky tape dispenser, there's a pencil sharpener. <clears throat> so many random things. <laughs> and literally, I'm just chucking them down. And you can see there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm not planning anything. I am just adding things to my layout. Because as I said earlier, I did not want any part of this collection left in terms of the um, crafting related components. Obviously, there's a lot of the collection left. As you can see by the ephemera bits and pieces that I've got here. But I didn't want anything that was um, craft related left. Because I just find that kind of very specific ephemera piece is very hard to use so yeah just going through each of them so that was the chipboard I'm working on now I finished the stickers and just looking at the chipboard and, and just adding everything craft related to the layout just making sure that I've got all of it which I do and now I've got some die cuts that I'd already gone through the die cut collection and pulled out everything that was scrapbooking related so I'm just going to add the die cuts there weren't as many die cuts as there were chipboard pieces and stickers but that's a good thing and I'm sticking them down ma mainly with wet glue so I've got like a pencil sorry <laughs> you would have heard in the background that was my son making noises that was the monitor going off he just woke up from his nap so I've quickly ducked upstairs he should sleep for longer but I don't think he will but I've popped his dummy in um it'll at least give me enough time to finish this voiceover <laughs> um but I believe that my crafting time is over for the moment he will have another little nap in the afternoon it's only the morning here when I'm doing this but yes I thought I might get a little longer this morning but I have not unfortunately so with that covered uh, I am still just sticking I mean there's not a lot to say really I probably could have edited out some of these but because I didn't plan any of the embellishments I guess I'm like I might as well keep this process in so people can see that I had no thought process when I was creating this I really didn't I was just sticking everything down so now I'm now I've moved on to the puffy stickers. So I've done the chipboard, I've done the die cuts, I've done the stickers, and the last thing to do is the puffy stickers. And there are a few, actually. I was, yeah, I think there's a lot of embellishments in this collection. Certainly more than the Indigo and Ivy collection, which I was quite disappointed, actually, with the ephemera in that collection. Now that I have the collection and I've been working with it, I think that the ephemera could have been more whereas this collection is just packed with ephemera there's also the um, floral pack as well which obviously I'm not using here because that is nothing to do with crafting but yeah Paige put a lot of things into this whimsical collection um yeah I I really there's not much else to say oh look I'm finished <laughs> Lisa I think I'm finished I've put everything aside I am I'm showing you the close-ups I hope you like it and we'll see you tomorrow